Hello, welcome to my Enniskillen vlog. We are in Enniskillen and that's in Fermanagh, it's in Northern Ireland. We will be here for three weeks. We just came, it's like a four hour journey or two hours ish with a car. Like if you like a room tour. This is us coming in and that's the lovely double bed. And then this is the little storage area. The bottom here, there's a little mini fridge. Just cool. Got a little desk with little snacks. There's a little wardrobe thingy. And then I have not figured out how to turn on these lights. So I figured out how to turn on the toilet lights. This is the lovely toilet. Um, and this is the mirror. It's really nice. Kind of short, so I have to pick up. And then this is the these what's it called? And this is the shower. Very nice. I'm very nice. Very happy with it. But yeah, lovely room. Very happy, very excited. So it's the Sunday before the start of the placement and we're here Sunday night, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and then Friday evening we leave and then we go back home. So we're here for three weeks and then we go home every Friday. From what I've heard, and Anaskalin is a very good teaching hospital and you get to do a lot of stuff. This is the angle that you're getting because I'm tired. <laughs> I'm lying on my bed. We are, well, I'm back from the hospital. Today was our first day. We went for like registration and we got our like swipe cards and our like locker keys. We had like loads of time. So we went around to like introduce ourselves and everything. We had a tour with like the Queen's students. Some of us are kind of paired with them. So we have like one RCFI and one Queen's student. <laughs> Nobody really knew what RCFI was and like <laughs> so we kind of went there and we're like hi my name is whatever and I'm a third year RCSI student and then they're like what is RCSI and we'll be like the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland and they're like so you're surgeons and we're like no we're just medical students <laughs> so we did that for a while and then we had a lovely lecture not lecture tutorial so I went to see my ward that I was assigned to and I introduced myself to the F1 because I'm supposed to be shadowing them so I shadowed them for like a bit they were they took blood from the central line so i was like okay fine da, da, da. and they're like okay we're going for lunch we'll be back at two meet me at two so i came at two and i waited for half an hour and he, he didn't come back so i was like okay like, i'm not doing anything here um and i felt like everyone was kind of trying to avoid eye contact with me because they didn't want to talk to me so i was like okay i'm feeling like weird here so i like one of my friends were in cardiology so i went to them and i took history there which is really good um i'm trying to practice taking a history and being more like following the format of it like be doing it systematically because i'm a bit sporadic sometimes i just go with whatever the person said and the last thing they said and i just add on to that i don't know why and maybe it's like but this camera is making my teeth really white my teeth are not this white Anyways, and I feel like now if I go into a ward and there's no one there or like there's no like doctor to shadow I'm going to just ask whoever's there like what are the good patients to take a history from I'm going to go to history and then take as many histories as I can because I need to practice my history take I need to practice asking before I start are you in any pain because I keep forgetting to do that He's like changing out of my scrubs now like chilling a little tiny bit and then I'm going to Asda Asda <laughs> to, to get some food and snacks because we get breakfast and then we can get our lunch in the hospital but we don't get any dinner so I'm gonna go get some like snacks and stuff and food that is like you can store in the fridge because we got fridge Today is Tuesday. Yesterday I forgot to say. The prayer room in Anniskillen. There's no male prayer room and female prayer room. It's all just the same prayer room, which was a bit annoying. Um, so what you need to do is like wait until everyone's finished and then go in and lock the door. Today was a bit of a drag, but also kind of good. We had OSCE training. So we had like A, B, C, D, E kind of thing, like, you know. But it was kind of weird because the patient was like stable and everything. And then I was like, are we doing a history? It was, it was very weird and like, I feel like there was a lot of misunderstanding on what we were meant to do. And then me, myself, I was kind of quiet and I didn't say what I wanted to say. And that's 
a problem of mine that I need to get sorted is like start like speaking up and everything we went to like print some like OSCE stuff another teaching it was a resp tutorial which is really good we went into an actual patient we did a resp exam on him it was really good he was a really good patient and it was a really good experience to like you know percuss and then actually see a difference in the percussion or like auscultate and actually hear a difference and rather than just being like normal lung sounds normal tactile affirmatives normal everything so it was it was interesting to hear like an abnormal thing and it was like the first resp exam that we'd ever done on a like a patient on our placements we've done breast exams we've done um cardio exams but we haven't done a re um, rest exam on a person we were supposed to have another teaching but it was like on zoom i think we were kind of late joining or something and they just left the meeting so we didn't have a teaching but we got to hang out with the queen students because there's like university of queen students with us as well and they were really chill really nice really like cool and everything their placement is 14 weeks long they're in third year as well they have 14 week long placements we had an oski tutorial he said that like the only instruction that they got from our csi was teach them how to do an oski and that's all they need to do and we were like oh okay because we, we were like oh we wanted to make the most out of placement and like do stuff. But it turns out I say I just wants us to do OSCE stuff and that's it. <laughs> that was really short because he had to go to a surgery and he was called to go. The last tutorial was like we did connect with them and everything. There was so much echo we could barely hear what the other students were saying and so we just we left because there was no point in saying because you couldn't hear anything we have like less than three weeks left until the end of semester exams so i need to study properly study i've done a bit of msk but i need to finish that this week next week my plan is to do public health trop medicine as well and then last week to be EBH because EBH i feel like is the most simple one out of all of them that was my day right now i'm gonna go make hot noodle because there's no microwave here so I can't really make any food and the only thing we have is a fridge and a kettle which is good alhamdulillah it's very good I can store like stuff in the fridge another good thing is that we're allowed to go in with our scrubs which is really good because we don't have to carry as much clothes with us we also get lockers and which is really good in our CSI in the in Beaumont we did get lockers but they were kind of far <laughs> it's not we got lockers but the lockers worked with our ID cards in the learning center but it was kind of far and so we just used the lockers in the changing room but they're only for final years and we don't have access to them so we just like use the locker and if anyone kicked us out we'll just keep, take our stuff out of the locker Good morning everyone so i am dressed and ready to go to like breakfast I didn't vlog anything yesterday, I didn't do a little update. One I forgot, and two I was kind of tired. Yesterday was just full of just teaching, a lot of teaching. And yeah, teaching is great. And I heard like for the first group they didn't get that much teaching. But we literally have so much teaching, yeah we have so much teaching, like we miss out on all the cool stuff. You know? Like yesterday I was like, I was talking to the F1 on our ward and I was telling her how like I really want to do bloods and I really want to do like capturizations like practice the skills that we learned during fcs like i was lucky that she finished at one today because i was like i need to go she goes yeah i'm going as well but yeah i got to see her do a blood and hopefully i'm gonna get to be able to practice them kind of annoying um we because if we have too much teaching then it's no longer a placement on a hospital it's just having lectures in a hospital teaching is great and some of the teaching are really really good where we get to go on the ward see a patient and then do an examination on them with the guidance of like the consultant or whatever or we get to practice doing an oski or something like that with someone to like critique us properly but other than that like if we're having a lecture on abdominal x-rays literally we're gonna have a lecture on abdominal x-rays in our CSI anyways you know what I mean like we're gonna have those lectures anyways but we're not gonna be able to be in Enniskillen anymore or SWA as it's called Southwest Acute Hospital like people people call it SWA and we've been calling it Enniskillen it's SWA <laughs> and I think our group is the last group to witness emergency surgeries like be able to be part of emergency surgeries not that they're doing them anymore as much but they've been told to like stop doing emergency surgeries and then this place is just going to be a place for a hub for elective surgeries we finished early yeah then i came back as you can see a lot of mess like i've had that's the one good thing well, not one there's loads of good things alhamdulillah so one of the really good things 
about me being away on peripheral placements and accommodation is that I get to like study without being distracted. And at home, there's a lot of distractions. So yeah, I got to do some of my... Today's the last day. I only went in for the, the surgical MDC to finish up packing up because I was so tired yesterday and I came back and I slept and I, you know, woke up really late. I need to finish packing up. They're all waiting for me in the car. Pack up real quick.